This is going to be a quick video showing Rider Duet, my favorite screenwriting software, running on the Onyx Books Nova Pro. You can see I have it installed here. I installed it through an APK website, through the uh, web browser on this device. Although you could also install it through Google Play if you'd like. Although I heard uh, the Google Play services may or may not slow down your device. I can't confirm that, but that's the reason I opted to go with a, an APK website rather than using the uh, default Google Play Store. So you can see there are actually two sort of loading screens. You saw that first one before, and now there's this sort of uh, Rider Duet logo with a spinning ring going around it. One of the things about this software running on this device, for whatever reason, this screen will just kind of keep going until you tap it, for whatever reason. I, it's kind of just a quirk. Um, but if you leave it go, it's not going to do anything until you actually tap the device, and then within a couple of seconds it should... Yeah, there you go. It'll it'll open up. Don't know why that is, but just sort of something you have to get used to and know if you're gonna use this software. So you can see I have a uh, I have a screenplay brought up here, um, and I'm just gonna show you. There are different different kind of display modes on this device. You may be uh, aware of uh, A2 mode on certain uh, e-reader devices. The newest firmware on the Onyx Books Nova Pro actually goes a step beyond that. So there are four different refresh modes, and I have it set to, I think this is called X mode, or whatever the, the quickest refresh rate is. Um, and it works pretty well. Uh, you can see it's, it scrolls pretty, pretty nicely. Um, you, can, you can see that there is a little bit of, um, what do you call that, ghosting on the screen, but you can always, if, you, if that really bothers you, you can tap the time and it'll refresh. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly what it looks like when you type on this device and what the lag is like. Alright, so let me just quickly demonstrate typing. So I'm just going to do testing, testing, one, two, three. You can see the, the input lag is really not much. I can, let me just kind of zoom in so you can see it a little better as I kind of backspace here. That's not bad at all. I mean, that's barely, I mean, that's pretty good for, for e-ink, I would say. Um, and you can see I'm using uh, a Logitech uh, keyboard right here, and every function tab works right uh, perfectly. Um, and yeah, there's not too much to say about this other than that it works, and I really enjoy working on it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can let me know. If you want me to test any other apps on this device, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, see if I can.